Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox and take a close up look at the Huadu H1 rugged mobile phone, so let's go ahead and open up the box. So this mobile phone is IP68 rated, so it is dust proof as well as water resistant. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box by cutting apart the sticky seal there and then flipping open the box flap to reveal the Huadu H1 rugged mobile phone. Let's go ahead and set it to the side as we continue to unpack the rest of the contents from the box. There appears to be a carry pouch, a quick start guide, along with some other accessories as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the box, everything from the box onto the tabletop. And that's the box emptied. Now go ahead and set it to the side. Okay, let's go ahead and set it to that side, that corner right there, as we spread the contents and lay them out neatly across the tabletop so you're aware what's been removed or included with the Wadu H1 rugged mobile phone. So that's the content spread across the tabletop. Let's start off by taking a look at the quick guide or user manual. Okay, so let's flip it open. So there is some user information, disclaimer, and let's see how this spreads open. So it does fold out right across. So plenty of reading material starting from the front left and I will scroll across to the right so you can see the quick start guide and the details that are covered in it. Okay, so that's one side of it and then on the reverse side some more information right there. Okay, so that's the quick start guide. Let's see if I can fold it back up neatly. Voila, I'm gonna set it to the top left hand side or right hand side, I beg your pardon, as we continue to go through the rest of the contents. So it does come with a packet of earphones. Okay. And it does appear to have a inline microphone as well. You can see the little microphone hole there. Okay, moving on next. There appears to be a key. So a simple key here or flathead screwdriver. Okay, set that down as we move on to the next item appears to be a micro USB USB charging cable or power cable in this packet here. So we don't really need to unpack this, we'll just leave it in the packet and set the cable down. And moving on to the next item, there appears to be a, this one, I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see clearly what's inside of it, being that it is a translucent packet and not transparent. And there we go. So it is a power adapter, a two pin power adapter here with a USB outlet port on the side for the USB cable, USB power cable or charging cable, as we saw earlier, to be fitted into it so that it can power or charge the... I'm just going to show you that detail there as well. So that it can power or charge the H1 rugged mobile phone up. So there we go. 
good all round view of the power adapter. I'm going to just set it on top there and then moving on to the next item which is the pouch. So there is a kind of polyester pouch here in a grey colour with drawstrings and always checking the inside making sure that there's no accessories or documentation in there so simple pouch there to store the mobile phone in when you think about it it's kind of ironic given that it is a rugged mobile phone anyway okay I'm gonna set the pouch to the side and lastly we're moving on to the mobile phone itself let me do a bit of rejigging of the arrangement on the table so that you can see all the accessories nice and clearly without interfering with the foreground okay so those are the contents cables key and power adapter right there okay so now we can have a look at the phone itself but before that let me just slide the power adapter across put that there so I think that's the best arrangement that we can manage for right now. Okay, so there we go. I think that's all very well. So now having a good look at the rugged mobile phone. So you can see it is orange and black in color and size wise. Just going to give you a quick look at the size of the phone. It does fit reasonably well in the hand. It's not too big given that it is a rugged phone. You'd think that it'd be quite chunky. It is chunky, but it isn't overly large. Still very much mobile. I'm just going to give you an all round look at the phone. Okay, at the sides as well as the bottom as well. And there appears to be a little uh, kind of bar there for looping around a cord or lanyard so looking at the rear of the phone and close-up detail as well some warnings right there and at the top of the phone so in terms of material This feels like a soft plastic or very hard rubber, however you want to look at it. And the front screen of the mobile phone with the Huadu branding right there. And the dial pad of the phone and buttons as well. I'm just going to press through. So nice clicky and responsive buttons and remember this is a dust proof as well as water resistant phone so this IP68 rated so it is quite rugged for tough environments So right there you can have a nice good look at the Huadu mobile phone, a rugged mobile phone for adverse conditions or if you're not too bothered about looking after your mobile phone. This would be quite ideal given that it doesn't need too much TLC and looking after so there we go once again nice front view of the mobile phone I'm gonna give you a look at the buttons once again and a very large screen weight wise there is 
a nice weight to it, but it's not too light, neither is it too heavy. Just a kind of respectable weight, given that it's supposed to be a rugged mobile phone. So you can see all these bumpers, the black soft plastic all around the phone to protect it from any damage from knocks and drops. And the buttons on the side as well. So having a look through the buttons, you can see that there is a minus and plus button. Very, very hard buttons, but they do press in and down right there. Okay, and at the rear, there are two screws, of course, which will open up in a second, and then a USB flap on the left-hand side of the mobile phone. So we can pop that flap open just to reveal the connectors or ports inside of it. So right there, you can see that there is a micro USB port as well as a earphone jack as well, or headset jack, or connector socket. So nice and the flap does seal very nicely in place, very firmly, very, very good. And then there is a LED flashlight at the top of the mobile phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the back of the phone using the supplied key or screwdriver. So it is a flathead screwdriver, very simply, just twisting open, just keeping my thumb on the back cover just to make sure that it doesn't suddenly pop out. So whitey tighty, lefty loosey, so loosening the screws at the back. And hopefully we should be able to pop the entire cover right off the phone to see what there is tucked behind. Okay, not sure if I've unscrewed enough of this. Of course, I am struggling a little given that I'm working with a tripod and camcorder in my face. So this will take a bit longer than it normally would, but we're getting there. And hopefully that should do the trick. Let me set it down then. And unscrew it this way. You can see that the back cover is wanting to pop off already and perhaps this key isn't the best tool to open the back but in terms of convenience you can always carry it with you in your set of keys or bunch of keys because there is a keyring loop at the back so I think we're almost there perhaps there we go so just tapping open the back cover to reveal the battery pack at the back of the phone so we can always pop that battery off to show you the entire back of the phone so we've removed the back cover panel on the left and then we're looking at the rear of the phone in the middle and the battery that comes with it on the right in green. So I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. You can see the details a little bit more clearly. So right there. Nice and clear. Okay, so it is a dual SIM phone. As you can see, SIM, main SIM, SIM 2. And the nice, chunky, very big battery pack here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the battery back in and turn on the phone and see 
what options there are in its menu. So battery cover, simply put that in and screw it back in place. So nice and pretty dust and water resistant design with this nice strong seal around the inner workings of the phone through the rear battery and SIM compartment. So there we go, this time around we managed to secure the back compartment quite snugly and quickly. So let's try and turn it on by figuring out which the power button is. So let's try the middle button and see if that turns on the phone. Or perhaps the green one button. So always read the user manual before attempting to operate any such electronic device. So I've tried a variety of buttons to turn it on. Perhaps the battery requires a bit of a charge. Let's give that a try. Or perhaps I've been pressing the wrong buttons. But let's try turning on the flashlight. Maybe the phone needs to be powered on for us to do that. So I'm mashing a few buttons here rather than reading through the quick start guide to figure out how to turn it on. So don't do what I do, just being a bit annoying this way, trying to turn on the mobile phone. Okay, now let's charge it up or give it a bit of power. So I do have my sync wire unbreakable Android charging cable, which I've unpacked in the past a really, really awesome and durable power cable or charging cable. It's also available for Android as well. Uh, I beg your pardon, for the iPhone as well or Apple devices. And then I do have this Florian 12,000 milliampere hour power bank, which I've just in the previous video unboxed. So let's go ahead and put the sync wire Charging cable, plug that in, and then plug in the micro USB cable into the phone's port there. And then you can see that the power bank has been activated. And let's see if we can turn the phone on, just making sure that it is properly connected on the side. So I'm going to try to turn on the mobile phone. And I'm not sure whether I'm doing it the right way or not. And checking the sides as well, making sure that there are no other buttons to turn the phone on from. Okay, I'm going to tap on the power bank button just to make sure that there is a proper supply going into the Wadu H1 rugged mobile phone. And now let's try and turn it on. There's no indication whether the mobile is charging or not given that there is the USB cable plugged into the side of it. So let's do that again, making sure that it is connected. It does have a thick connector there. And I might eventually have to refer to the quick start guide to make sure that I'm actually performing the right action to turn the mobile phone on. Okay, so I've tried a variety of buttons at the front. You'd think that the red button or at least the green button would power on the mobile. Okay, 
So no success there. Let's refer to the quick start guide to see if we can turn it on the right way. And there we go. The phone's decided to power on now. So the battery was actually completely flat. And it does have a nice crisp display there. You can see right there showing that the phone is being charged with the flow of the power supply on the screen there. And there we go. You heard that beep as well. Let's see if we can turn it on. And there we go. So it does have that very classy music there and a pretty clear screen for a rugged mobile phone like this. Okay, so let's unlock it by pressing on the unlock and star to unlock the mobile phone. So giving you a look at the screen there, you can see that the battery indicator there showing that the phone is still currently being charged and it's showing two insert SIM notifications on the screen there. So I'm gonna wake that screen up again and let's go ahead and unlock it. Okay, so right there, nice and clear. And you can see that the buttons are nicely lit as well. So a nice crisp screen, and I'm just going to unlock it once again. It does lock very quickly. And let's have a look at the menu. So I'm gonna step us through the menu just to see what options there are. So there is a file manager, phone book, call center, games, messaging, multimedia, services, settings, tools, and that's that. So let's take a quick look at the file manager right there. Go back, take a look in the phone book right there. Go back, call center, turn call history, call settings. Let's take a look at call settings advanced settings and those are the options there with blacklist auto redial call time reminder and answer mode let's go all the way back moving on to the next item games so there is a copter top gun and game settings let's have a quick look at copter and see what that's about all right my copter has crashed and let's go back out and take a look at game settings as well. So game settings right there. And look at the second game. And let's start. Okay, so there is a kind of flying game. Let's get back. That sounded more like ducks quacking. Let's move on to the next item. So messaging right there. Showing you write message, inbox, draft, outbox, sent messages, message settings. Let's go in there. There we go, text messages, multimedia message, service message, and that's that. And moving on to the next menu item, which is, let's see if I can press, precisely right there, in multimedia. So multimedia, there's camera, image viewer, video recorder, video player, audio player, sound recorder, and FM radio. So plenty of options there. Let's take a quick look at the camera and see what that's about. So there is a pretty decent camera on it for a rugged mobile phone. You can see I'm just panning around the tabletop right there so you can see what's going on. I'm just gonna put my hand in front of it as well just so you can see what's what. Okay, so 
decent enough quality for a simple rugged mobile phone there. Now let's take a quick look at the video recorder. So video recorder right there, you can see pretty clearly what's going on as I pan around the tabletop. Let's go back and back and move on to the next menu item, which is the services. So let's take a quick look in the services showing internet service right there. So let's go back and move on to settings. So their profiles, phone settings, security settings, dual SIM settings, connectivity, notification settings, restore settings. Let's take a look at profiles right there with four options there. Phone settings, the time and date, language, preferred input method, display, dedicated keys, flight mode, and miscellaneous settings. Let's have a look at miscellaneous settings, which provides LCD backlight, as well as picture quality. Interesting, let's have a look at picture quality on or off. Okay, let's go back out. Security settings, phone security, phone lock and change password. Go back, dual SIM settings, only SIM one open. Okay, so you can choose whether you want single or dual SIM operation. Connectivity with Bluetooth right there. So it does have Bluetooth and notification settings. Let's have a quick look. Messaging and downloads. And restore settings. Let's you reset the phone to factory settings. And lastly, we have the tools menu here. Looking at the calendar, alarm, calculator, ebook reader, which is quite cool. Interesting to see that simple phone like this has an ebook reader. And let's go into the flashlight just to test out the flashlight. So there's a flashlight at the top right there of the Huadu H1 rugged mobile phone. So you can see right there at the top as we saw earlier when it was off. Okay, and we can turn it off just like that very simply. And that's all the menu options that we've navigated through. Okay, let's go back and see if we can turn on the light by pressing on that. Very intuitive option right there to turn on or off the flashlight at the top without having to navigate through the menus or unlock the mobile phone. So a nice thorough look at the Huadu H1 rugged mobile phone. Let's see if we can go ahead and unplug the sync wire Android charging cable and then close that flap up. So a nice all round look at the Huadu H1 rugged mobile phone. And that's the camera at the front right there and a loudspeaker as well to the right of it. So that's the Wadu H1 rugged mobile phone. Thanks for watching and happy calling.